What's up everybody? This is my 1996 BMW Z3. Uh, it is upgraded with a uh, Magnuson Downing Atlanta supercharger kit, which, uh, you know, in stock form, this car had about 138 horsepower, but with the supercharger kit, bumps it up to a nice 220 horsepower. Very fun to drive. This car only weighs around 2,500 pounds. Uh, still gets almost 30 miles per gallon. Just a real hoot to drive. Um, interior is in excellent shape, as you see. You know, leather's all original and in really good condition, especially for almost 30 years old. All the interior is in really good shape, considering the age of the car. I think it's always been stored indoors. Uh, it also has a nice little windshield windscreen here that helps keep down the breeze if it's a little chilly out top is in excellent condition no leaks no tears no damage and i think it's original too but it's in excellent condition i'll put it up in a moment uh, tires are almost new excellent shape paint job is excellent on it uh, it does have a couple of accidents stated on Carfax, but uh, the previous owner was a BMW mechanic, and uh, he told me that all of the body panels that were either replaced or fixed were all done by or uh, all done with BMW components. Let's see, the tire tray is excellent. New brakes on it also. Uh, the engine was actually removed from the car and inspected as well as uh, kind of freshened up, resealed and certain things, you know, by the BMW technician. Interior, really nice shape. You know, you'd never guess that this car is almost 30 years old by looking at it. Uh, it's got new speakers in the rear right here. Uh, it also has a nifty little hidden subwoofer right under here that was done by the owner who had this car the longest he had it for almost 15 years and he had some nifty stuff done to it this is a very shallow subwoofer so you still have plenty of leg room under here carpets original in excellent condition I mean everything is is just really nice on it you know especially when you're considering the age of the car and it has around what 148,000 miles let me see that there yeah right at 148,000 dash is excellent uh, the only little minor thing is the ABS light is on which is what this little piece of black tape is covering because um, some people say it's a rather expensive fix that I have not bothered with because I don't really care. Uh, it, it drives fine, you know, everything does fine on it. Remember, it is a, a five speed manual. Uh, the other thing, uh, the original air conditioning compressor, uh, I recently removed it because it failed. And let's have a look under the hood, hear this thing purring nicely. Did you see the uh, Magnuson? supercharger kit by Downing Atlanta that was a company that was around you know back in the late 90s early 2000s that were offering awesome little supercharger upgrades for this engine and uh, it definitely helps I mean this car is you know, it's pretty fun all by itself without it but when you get over 200 horsepower in a 2500 pound car it's just a hoot to drive but I did remove the air conditioning compressor all the rest of the components are still in place but um, but yeah, the AC compressor failed, I don't know, a few months ago, and I didn't bother to replace it because it's convertible, and I really only drive it in the, um, you know, when the weather's good. It's not a daily driver for me. This is just a fun little get-around car. So those are the only things that you could say are, are wrong with it is there's no air conditioning, but the heat works fine. Uh, it also has a really nice strut brace right there, which these cars are known to need. Uh, also has the performance cam timing, which you may have heard of online, which gives it a little a 
very slight sputter on hot idle and it's only only when it's idling otherwise it drives perfectly uh, just tons of fun so but I'm very transparent you know when I list a car or sell a car I want you to know everything about it uh, as you see the paint is really good really nice condition I'm in uh, you know Marietta Georgia which is north of Atlanta I take great care of all my vehicles all the lights work on it fog lights headlights tail lights turn signals let's turn all those on uh, overhead lights there you go side markers work you know for turn signal use Tail lights, everything works great. Uh, it has a nice little amplifier for the subwoofer in the trunk here. You know, the, the, the guy who had it before the most recent owner had uh, had some really nifty stuff done to it. It's got a, you know, a Viper key fob system to it, which these cars, you know, they didn't even have remote key fobs back then. Let's take it out. Yeah, so you can unlock and lock the doors with a key fob like any modern car. Uh, and as you know, the master key on BMWs, which I have all of the master keys when it was new. Even has a little light on it, which is pretty awesome. That still works, obviously. I have the original owner's manual and all kinds of documentation on the car, you know, and... It's just a good, good little get around fun thing. So yeah, I highly recommend the, the Z3 if you're looking for something just tons of fun and you can still get parts for them and, and you know, you can find mechanics that still work on them and whatnot. <clears throat> this car used to be in the Z3 Car Club of America, which I'm not a member of, but the car was once a member of that, whatever that means put the top up and, and it's a manual top too it is not electronic and it takes you no time to do it like so it takes just seconds to lift it up by hand you know it's very easy it's got little levers underneath uh, the uh, sun visors there and you just release those and just let it back by hand I mean it's so simple inside the car it has a nifty touchscreen radio with CD player uh, the stereo sounds really good you know for such a small car it doesn't need much but the previous owner uh, did a nice job with this stereo and the uh, key fob system and all that you know so you can still play CDs it also has XM radio Bluetooth ability even has uh, Apple connectivity with this little HDMI doohickey right here so you can run mobile devices through it either wired or Bluetooth uh, iHeartRadio Pandora, you know, it's got some nifty stuff for for uh, I mean the stereo is obviously not old But it has some things that this car would have never dreamed to have when it was new in 1996 And uh, yeah, just touch that and it goes away uh, So yeah, once again, no air conditioning and the ABS light is on which is right behind that little black piece of tape I put there but uh, you know it's a common issue with these cars as well as the little idle issue which is not an issue at all it's just a performance setting for the intake cam and um, yeah you can google it all day long it's it's a common uh, common performance item because it boosts performance by a good 10 to 12 horsepower to have the intake cam set where it is so anyway I think this is original windshield because it still has the BMW logo down there uh, it's in really good shape as one little chip right there tiny little chip on it otherwise it's in great shape windshield wipers are recent as you see overhead light works all other lights work and uh, yeah so if you're ready for the fall convertible season 
that's also a great fun little car that gets really good gas mileage. Oh, it does not have a catalytic converter either because they're not required for uh, this age of car in Georgia. Uh, and it helps performance as well. So no cat. Uh, Super Sprint exhaust. That sounds quite good as you heard. No issues, you know, as far as needing brakes, tires, bearings, you know, um, oil change is recent, you know, water pump and all that, all the clutch and everything was investigated to make sure it's all in good condition and everything checked out from uh, the previous owner who is a BMW technician. And there you go. Great little car. So yeah, see the links in the description. If the car is still available for sale, you'll find them in the description. And there's tons of photos also in the Google uh, Google folder links. <clears throat> so yeah, check it out. 1996 BMW Z3, 1.9 liter, four cylinder, manual shift with Magnuson supercharger. Tons of fun. That's it. Check out my other videos. We got all kinds of cool stuff on our channel. Y'all have a great day.